Hello students, today what we're going to do is we're going to create the bodywork of our electric car. The first thing I want you to do is open up AutoCAD on the computer. It's a big A, and if you double click that program, it will begin to load up. Okay, once the program loads up, you need to open up a template. Now the template just contains some basic lines and some tools that you're going to need. On the top left corner of your screen, click the big A button, click open. When that menu pops up, select at the top um, this PC and you want to load up the student shared drive, technologies, Design Tech Graphics and the DTG template. So once you load that, it might pop up with a little box. Just click OK, it's fine. This is how you start all your drawings in the computer. Now the first thing that we want to do is begin to create um, the basic chassis line. So we're going to make a line from here, the center, uh, sorry, um, from the back of our chassis to the other side of our chassis. In my case, it's about 220 millimeters long. So I'm going to click the line tool, select a line, a point in the screen, move my mouse to the right, and type in 220. Now, from this point, you want to hit the escape key on your keyboard, and that stops making lines, and we can zoom out. So to zoom on the mouse, the scroll wheel itself is zooming in and out. If you hold the wheel down, you can pan your screen around so you can move your screen. And if you double click the mouse wheel, it will find your work if you've lost it. So if I scroll my wheel, you'll see that it's currently getting bigger or smaller. And if I hold the wheel down and move my mouse, I can find um, my object on the screen. Now at this point, what we want to do is we want to go in the distance from the back edge to the center of the wheel. On my car here, it's approximately 20 millimeters from the back edge to the center of the wheel. So I'm going to go to the top and I'm going to select the outline and I'm going to choose construction. And then I'm going to select the line tool, pick a point at the end of my white line, move my mouse to the right and type in 20, enter. You'll see it placed a blue line on top of the white line. I'm going to repeat the tool using the line tool, select the right side of my line, move to the left, type in 20 on the keyboard, and enter. Now to stop selecting lines and making lines, you just need to click the escape tool, escape key. So at this stage now, I'm going to use, I'm going to change my line back down to the outline, which is the white line type. I'm going to use the circle tool. And I'm going to go down and select a different type of circle, such as diameter, because we know that the diameter of this wheel is about 50 millimeters. So I'm going to select the diameter tool, and I'm going to click at the inner edge of the blue point, move my mouse out, and type in 50 on the keyboard and hit enter. Use this circle tool again, click on the inner section of the blue line, move my mouse out, and type in 50, enter. Now, if you have trouble and you accidentally made it too big or too small, you can always hit the escape key on the keyboard to stop selecting things. Click once on whatever object you want to delete and hit the delete key on the keyboard. Okay, now that I got my basic chassis, the next step that I need to do is work on kind of the bodywork shape. Now I really do not want your cars to be any taller than 100 millimeters in height. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to go to the construction line layer. I'm going to use my line tool and I'm going to draw a further line at the end of my blue lines. I'm going to click the end, move up, and type in 100, enter. Now if your mouse goes outside of the screen, once again you just use your scroll wheel to move back and forth or hold the wheel down 
to move your drawing. Move to the left now, or right, whatever way you've drawn yours, and make another. We want to go the distance of our car, so 220. And then I'm going to move my mouse down and click the endpoint. Escape key stops making lines. So now we have kind of the basic outline of what we want our car to look like. At this stage now, I'm going to begin to place in my bodywork. So I'm going to use a variety of tools, and I'm going to change my line type to outline. And I'm now going to use, for example, underneath the draw tool is one called spline. So you can try spline fit or spline CV. So spline fit, and the way this works is every time you click the mouse, it moves the curve. So for example, click, click, click. So you just keep moving around. This car here has got a better example. So as you can see in this particular car, I've got point, point, point. Then I got a straight line, and then point, 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 point to kind of complete the curve. So I'll give you an example. How would I make this car here as an example? So the first thing I might do is using my line tool, I'm going to just draw up at the end, maybe 10 millimeters or 20, 15 might work. Okay, I'll hit the escape key. And then I might use my spline tool, and I'm going to just begin to kind of create the basic curve that see now on spline tool enter finishes the tool once you've finished the tool you can click your line and you can adjust the points by just clicking and moving your lines now you might see here you might think well my wheel actually doesn't fit in my body so I've actually made a little mistake I need to actually move some lines so I'm gonna move this line here I'm gonna click the center and I'm gonna move it to my left I'm going to type in another, I'll go another 20, maybe 30 millimeters. That's going to move it. So I'm going to click this other line and click the center dot, move to the right, about 30. Okay, and you can click our blue line at the top and click the endpoints and connect it. We're just going to make this a little bit bigger. And this will help. Okay, so I'm going to click and delete. So click on a line and hit the delete key on the keyboard. I'm going to just try this again. So now I'm going to use my line here. I'm going to go up 15 millimeters. I'm going to now use the draw tool and the spline tool. I'm going to click, click, and click, enter. So I'm going to adjust that. Okay, so I've got the basic shape here. Now I'm going to make a straight line. So using my line tool. Okay. Next I'm going to do the body work. So I'm going to make another spline. So line, point, 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 point. So remember on the spline tool, the enter key stops making lines. Okay, so at this point I'm going to just kind of make the back. I'm going to zoom in a bit. Okay. So that's my basic car chassis as you can see. And from here if you would like to make any kind of additional lines, such as like the engravings as you can see here for my windows then what you would need to do is select the line tool and choose a different color line for example you might pick um, this pink one zero and you might then choose to kind of create the window itself using my spline tool again So that's basically our design in a nutshell. Okay, when we're complete, the final thing you want to do is click on the A button on the top left corner. 
and then click the Save As button, and then select your desktop, and then click and type in a name. Okay, that's the end of the tutorial.